Joseph without one of their key receivers, Darnell Solomon. Actually, they're calling it first and 17 right now. As Barnett on play action, throws it deep, man coverage, looking for McCants, has him in stride. And there's no catching him. Touchdown, USF. Touchdown for USF. 64-yard return to the UMass 36-yard line. Barnett throws it underneath to Randall St. Felix. Ball is fouled, has handled a very sticky situation pretty gracefully. Barnett under pressure, hit as he throws, and still somehow that ball got sides against this UMass defense early on with these wide receivers. Second down and four. They've been going to the pass game, and Barnett will throw to St. Felix again. He has a first down, and St. Felix is finally knocked down. Barnett's here. That snap over Barnett's head, and he'll just cover it up. Michael Wiggs, the sophomore. And 27, they need to get inside the three-yard line for a first down. Barnett will try to run for it. Middle of the field, finally brought down, and this will be a competitive. We've been waiting to see this UMass group break through, and you could argue this is the best opponent. UMass third down and eight for the Bulls, leading 10-7 in the fourth, in the first round. Barnett gets out of trouble, but only for the moment. Started the season with a win against Elon, a nationally ranked FCS opponent. Catch by Raishi Bronson, who has been. First and 12, Barnett, quick throw. They try Bronson again, and Bronson gets away from a couple of would-be tacklers. Quarter between yep. UMass and USF, would you say, Gresh? A couple of per big plays early, and then everybody's now settling in. Barnett, ball is free. That's been the difference so far. Two takeaways by UMass in USF territory. Ball comes out of Blake Barnett's hands very quickly, and then, oh, it was, I can't tell if that was Jarella job on first down. That was one of the key points for head coach Charlie Strong coming into this game. They come up big on third. Four candidate is Mitchell Wilcox. Barnett play action, looking deep, man coverage, and Isaiah Rogers gets a hand in there. Here comes Flash. Just working it down the field, and you can see hands all over him, climbed up the back of the receiver. Pretty easy call. I guess what I quibble with is if you're Isaiah Rogers, stay away from the body contact. You don't have to, Clairvaux, just knock the ball away. What I thought was a catch and a fumble overturned as well. Second and ten. Barnett hit as he throws, and Bright Barr has an interception. Does he have the speed to take it all the way? Barr knocked out of bounds. Here in this first quarter, a big hit from Joe Previtti, and then Brighton Barr just has the football in his hands, and the Oaks out of harm's way. So they may be only down to Cronkite at running back At right the now. moment, that's all they have. Barnett will go to the air, and it's through the hands of Wilcox. Depth, and when it gets chewed up, you've just got to alter the way you play. Third and 14. Barnett steps up in the grasp of Brighton. Ball. Split. Second down. Barnett quickly to the outside. If it's a first down. They have moved. Barnett throws it outside. They try to set up a screen, but UMass. Oh. Run. I think it helps Ed Pinkham when USF goes fast that he's on the field. Loss of three on the play. Barnett throws deep. Moses there on. in the first quarter. Now Barnett, three of nine passing in the second quarter after going seven of eight passing in the first quarter. And that's a drop. One play, and here he is. He wants that score. First and goal from the one. Flag flies. Barnett is in the end. Third and goal. Barnett to pass in trouble, and UMass has him, and down he goes. Ball came free, but he was sports for the fans. Here comes Brighton Barr on the blitz. 
throwing it up and going back to make the catch. And a great grab. Watch St. Felix when he jumps up for the football. I think it happened. Wood, who is out there now, the freshman, with Hayes on the sideline. Barnett has it. And down he goes for a loss of about two. Barnett looking left the whole way. He's got a man open and can uh, be very close to a first down. I think the guy they'd love to have out there. You can see the versatility he provides. Third down at five, Barnett. First down throw. He's got his tight end, Wilcox. On 31 carries, had 341 yards rushing. That well, is question now for Cronkrite is can he get to 300? Barnett will go to the air. Good catch by Wilcox at tight end. First down. Now by my count, that should have him at 299 as Barnett throws outside. Barnett holds on to it. Early, early. It's not only physically, but maybe even more psychologically. Third down and nine. <laughs> UMass brings the pressure. Picked up Barnett outside, and Phillips can't get away.